Well, we're going to uh, create a, uh, an, a an effect using a blend mode, and right here it says combine blur a blurred image with a blend mode to add a dreamy look to a photo. So let's move this over here. Let's see what that looks like then. So we go over into home screen, we browse the tutorials, and I go right here on this one. I go to all categories and then I go to beginner and it's in add visual effects and it's this one create a dreamy effect using a blend mode and you can also search for it right there in the search bar and discover and create a dreamy effect using a blend mode we'll start the tutorial I'm going to put this over here to the side. And so first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. So if we go to layer, new, layer via copy, new, layer via copy. And the shortcut for that is Command J. Okay, so now we can see over here we have two layers this is the subject that's the background layer and then we have this subject copy it was called subject and it was made a copy so there we go the next thing that we want to do is choose a filter blur gaussian blur so when we go to filter it's going to be under blur and it's going to be under gaussian blur and right here it's going to tell us what to set it to it says set the radius to 18 so we can see what happens when you change that if you're on preview okay if you're not on preview you won't see it so it says to put this at 18 pixels so we're going to go to 18 right here and go okay now and now we're going to click next Now the next thing right here, we're going to change this blend mode and choose screen. So right here it says normal. And we're on this layer right here, but we're going to change this to a different mode. So we're going to find screen. So if we look down here, we can see what it does every time you put one in here. But we want screen. I'm going to go screen. And we're going to go next. Now we're going to change this from instead of 100% the opacity, we're going to change that to 70%. So let's change that to 70. You could type it in there too if you want. There we go. We got that. Now we're going to go next. And now right here it tells us what, what happened here. It says the screen blend mode lightens the blurred layer, creating the dreamy look. So if you want that kind of dreamy look, you can use screen. But also, uh, screen also allows the details of the unblurred image underneath to show through. Click next to continue. Now, if you want to see what it looks like with and without uh, this effect, you can click the, uh, the eye icon here, right here, to hide it, okay, or to show it. So let's see what it looks like without it. That's what it looks like without the effect. And with the effect, it looks like this. So you'd probably want to use the same settings. If you use the same ex exact settings on something, you want to find an image that's slightly darker and also maybe very focused. If you look at this, this one is very focused, okay? So that it kind of looks like this then, kind of gives that dreamy look. Otherwise, if you go on a light photo, it might look even too light, right? So of course, you can manipulate that later on uh, even up here in the filter but there you go that's the effect okay so let's go right here we did that right there okay there we go click next and that's it so thanks for watching you know what though let me go through the saving of it so if you're going to save this one and you want both layers, you're going to save that as a Photoshop file, a PSD file. And if you're going to turn this in to me for an assignment, 
you're going to go save a copy, save on your computer, title this, uh, what was it called? Create a dreamy effect. Let's just call that. And then I'm going to put my name here. And then we're going to change this instead of Photoshop, change it to JPEG, save. It's going in my downloads, so I know where it's going. There you go. That's it.